<clears throat> hey guys, um, just uploaded the new uh, December raid worksheet and there's been a, a few changes uh, to it so uh, just going to give you an idea of how to use it or you know if you've never used it before uh, where you start out. Uh, the basic, uh, the prizes are going to be on the left hand side uh, of the spreadsheet and um, you know your current standings in the raid or you know what you're you know looking to do in the raid will be on the right. Uh, points awarded per tier, the current points you have, the points needed to reach your goal, different things like that. Alright, um, the first thing you want to do is come on the right hand side and you will see uh, enter your base level uh, right here um, now what this does uh, if you are a level 85 or above you do not receive the full uh, amount of points on tiers 3 and tiers 4 tier 3 and 4 you do not get the full um, points on hitting each individual target now you get the bonus but you don't get the the total reward there. So if I, you know, pop in uh, 84 right there, uh, this does not change. This field right here and the field right here. But when I go to a level 85, you will see that they reduce. Okay, so that's the first thing you need to do uh, right there. Um, now the prizes, like I said, are on the left hand side. Um, the green uh, first are uh, the hulls. Um, below the hulls in the yellow you have weapons. The light blue uh, are specials. The gray armor. Uh, the light orange are turrets. Um, and the uh, light red or pinkish color that uh, that's the the limited items that are available uh, in the in the raid store. Uh, under that, you have the shards, and in the light blue, you have the build tokens, ship build tokens. One hour, twelve hour, and twenty four hour. Um, if you'll notice some of the numbers, I don't know if you can really see it. You can really see it here on the armor. Um, you'll see a a one that's in white. Now you can't edit this column right here. Okay, um, if you're using Excel, I'm sure it's going to work a little bit different if you're using Google Sheets. Uh, it may even look a little bit different, but it's going to function the same. Um, the Zoe's Vendetta, it has a red one in it because you can only get one of those. Okay, it's a limited item. Um, you scroll down and you see the Drax Scatter Gun, the Cold Snap, the Glacial Turret, uh, the Wendigo, then you've got your Hydraulic Resistors. These are the things... I don't know why I've got a five right there. That's not right, uh, but uh, it should be a one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so you just put a one right here. Uh, but anyway, these are the number of items that you can get. You can get five, you know, Gale threes. You can get five hydraulic resistors. You can get five of the. Oh no, it's right. Cobra scatter guns. Um, that's what you put on the subs, tigers. Uh, you can get five of those. So those are the items if it's in red it's limited um, it's a limited blueprints meaning you can only build uh, the number of items you have the blueprint for uh, the rest of them you just it's like any other normal blueprint when you get the emission generator you can put it on as many ships as you want to it doesn't matter that's why these are in white and the limiter in the red just let you know what's limited and what's not uh, okay, so two different ways you can approach using this this spreadsheet. Uh, I use it um, to set my goal. Um, we'll just run through real quick and just add a few things here. Let's say I want to get the uh, Vendetta. There's always Vendetta. I want to get the Cannoneer. And as soon as I put the one in the amount wanted right here, it automatically puts total cost right there. So I want to get the Cannoneer. Uh and uh, the Zelos, if that's how you pronounce it. Uh, so let's scroll down here. Let's say I want to get the new launcher. I'll put one in right there. 
uh, I come down, let's see, maybe I want to get the pack, particle acceleration cannon. Um, let's see, what else? Um, I want to get the new special. Uh, let's say I want armor, I don't have armor piercing shells. I'm going to try and get that. Hydroxide injectors. I definitely want the CL3 armor uh, and uh, RC3, the reflective coating three. Um, so as as you add the things you want in the raid, it adds it up, and you just go all the way down to the bottom. And it says total points needed. I need 138,900,000 points to reach my goal. If this if this was my goal, okay. If you look on the right hand side, it tells me that I need to hit 24.4 tiers. Complete the tier six level 105 and level 107, and get the bonus. Um, I have to hit 24.4 of those. I have to hit 231 and a half uh, tier 5 blitz level 74s if that's what I want to do. If I want to blitz it, uh, tier 5, 51.6, tier 4 completion, 209, tier 3 would be 1,157.5 tier 3 complete target sets to reach my goal. Okay, now as I go through the raid, as I'm going through the raid and I start hitting targets, I want to keep a running total of my points. So let's say I hit um, I hit two tier six complete targets. So that would give me um, eleven million four hundred thousand. Is that right? Nope. I forgot a zero. So eleven million four hundred thousand points is what I currently have. Um, say I do that on day one. Um, I really don't want to cash out yet. You know, the first thing that I'm going to try and get, I'm going to get this Vendetta and this uh, Cannoneer. So let's say on day two, I come in and I do, I spend all day and I wind up getting, I don't know, uh, at the end of the day, I've got 65 million, uh, 250,000. Well, that's a little much too many zeros. Okay, so that's day two. I've got a total of 65,250,000 points. Uh, it mean, that means that I've got 73,650 points to go to reach my goal. I need to hit 12.9 more tier six targets. These are the targets to reach your goal initially. These are the targets remaining. Total uh, number of hits left to reach my goal right here okay um, now as you go or as you're going through the through the raid um, let's say you want to go ahead uh, and get the vendetta there's always vendetta so I'm gonna have to put a one right there in amount purchased so that would reduce my points that I currently have in the raid to fifteen thousand to uh, fifteen million two hundred fifty thousand excuse me so I would change my total to reflect my current running points keep a running total of current raid points here even if you spend points keep this field equal to your current points okay always that did not change our points needed to reach goal we still need 73 plus million to reach our goal but we can come down here and see that we have spent total amount spent we spent 50 million okay and we can tell right here on that total raid points that you've done so far 65 million 250,000 okay um, the second way that you can use this spreadsheet is if you don't really have or know what your goal is going to be uh, let's say at the end of the raid when you've got your 24 hours um, to spend your points uh, and you don't know what to get, what would be best, uh, how can I be the most productive with my points, uh, get you know the most bang for my buck. So let's say that I do 
a total of 78 million. That's a good round number. All right, so I've got 78 million points. Um, and I'm going through, I can start adding and removing. Say I want to get that. Um, let's say maybe I want to get the Citadel if I don't have that. Um, oh, I'd like to have the Fury. I see, and you can see right over here, your points are going down. Okay, so let's keep going down some. We've got the some of the hulls we want. You know, maybe we've got enough. To, we want to go ahead and get that launcher. Um, maybe we need to pick up um, conflagration scatter gun. Um, Maybe the Arbalest, we want to grab it. Uh, we don't want to get the new special if we can afford it. Um, maybe something we've been missing, a mission generator. Maybe we want to get that, hydroxide injector. Uh, maybe we want to grab a couple of these uh, armor, the CL3 and uh, RC3. Uh, we know we can, okay, that tells us we've got 12 million points to go. So after we go through this, say we want to get shards shards listen to me so we want to get to uh, uh, tokens so we're going to grab 15 tokens and scroll back up we've got a little bit over 10 million left that we can spend uh, we can get nine of a 12 hour how much more do we got we've got two million four hundred thousand points left maybe we grab one 24 hour ship build token that means that we have Five, no, we're a little over. So we've got to go back. Maybe I screwed that up, guys. Ten million. If it, if the number right here goes positive instead of negative, then you're you've you've spent your money. So maybe I sh maybe I went. Oh yeah. Yeah. See, I've I've spent too much, so I can't. Maybe we need to cut that down to seven. Try again. That leaves us 400,000 points. Now, what can we find in here that's 400,000 points that we do not have? Or a combination of things that are uh, 400,000 points. Maybe, let's see, maybe we don't have this mort, Searing Barrage mort. We can grab it. Uh, we could grab D2C and the D2E. That would be 300,000. 300, uh, uh, what else could we, that's it. Oh, we could get the, maybe we want a gale, one gale, gale one. So that should be zero. So there, there's two different ways you can use this spreadsheet. You can use it to plan your raid, uh, your goals, or you can use it once the raid's done and you want to see how is the best way you can spend your points. Guys, I hope this helps. Um, you know, uh, if always, if you see a mistake in the spreadsheet, you know, post it on, you know, post it under where I've posted the spreadsheet. I'll fix it, upload a, uh, a new one um, after I make the corrections. Uh, if you're using this in Microsoft Excel, you can't select any of these fields. They're locked. I don't care what you do with this spreadsheet, guys. All you have to do is go to uh, Review, Unprotect Sheet, and the password is lowercase b lowercase p battle pirates bp all lowercase unlock it do what you want with it i don't care um, i don't think it's protected in google sheets uh, and like i said it will look a little different it won't look as snappy uh, but hope you guys enjoy it and um, good luck with the raid guys